When I first began researching about modular synthesizers and drum machines and Roland Iras, I had no idea what all of these cables were for. So let me show you what I think they're for. Correct me if I'm wrong. So to begin with, we have this cable. It's got two rings around it on the metal part and it's called a TRS cable with, with two rings. And this goes into the mix in or mix out. So here we have a Roland T8 on the top left. I've put the first part into the mix out and the second part into my Roland S1 mix in. Okay. And then the next cable is another TRS with two black bands. It goes from the S1 mix out into the J6 mix in. Okay. And you can see in the top right, we have the P6. It's currently not connected to this chain. That already has a mix out going into my speakers. Uh, so here is the final TRS cable with two bands, two rings. This goes from the J6 mix out into the P6 mix in. Right. The only other cable that exists so far is the white USB cable at the top with the little yellow animal on top. That's just connected to my phone so that you can hear the audio. Okay, this is also a TS cable or a TRS cable. I'm not sure exactly, but it has one ring. That's the important bit. It might be called a TRS, it might be called a TS, I can't remember. But it's got one ring. I'll link it in the description below. And this goes in from the sync out to the sync in of each device in the same pattern that I chained the first set of cables, if you're following me. So you can see it follows the same pattern from the top left to the bottom left, to the bottom right, to the top right. Okay, just to recap. So I currently use two types of cable, the two ring cable and the one ring cable. The two ring cable is the most important cable to get to begin with. This allows you to hear the audio from each device. So here we have the top left device connected to the bottom left connected to the bottom right, connected to the top right. This allows the, the, the mix out audio from the top right device that's going into the speakers. It allows us to hear the audio from all four devices, even though only one device is going into the speakers. Okay, if you have less devices, if you have three devices or two devices, it'll be the same thing. Whichever device has the cable going into the speakers will be the final part of your chain. Once you've kind of sussed out the, the audio cables, then you can start to play around with the, the sync cables. The only thing that I use these one ring cables for in the sync out sync in ports is simply to control the tempo of all four devices at the same time. I have no other uses for this cable and it gets in the way quite a lot. Please do drop a comment below and let me know what else I should be doing with this cable because I kind of regret buying it to be honest. As I am still a beginner, I didn't do enough research and I just assumed that sync cables would automatically start each device at the same time when you press play, but that's not the case at all. So never mind. Here I've changed the, the tempo to 124 on the top left device and all of the other devices have now changed tempo to 124 BPM. Okay, so that's all I use it for. There are better ways of, of, um, of doing this, I believe. I believe you can get more two ring TRS cables and plug them into the back left of each device. The MIDI in, MIDI out cables, MIDI in, MIDI out slots. Uh, but I've not quite figured that out yet. That's for a future video. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Uh, here's the rest of my jam. Enjoy and drop a comment. Let me know what you think.
Thank you. 